In this tutorial, we look at the two scenarios we need to know how to solve when finding unknown side lengths in right angle triangles. And for that, we're going to work through the two examples that we see here. In each case, we need to find the unknown side length marked X. So let's get started. Looking at the first triangle we have here, our starting point is to summarize the information that we're given relative to the interior angle that's given. So in this case, that's the 25 degree angle. Looking at this triangle, and in particular the 25 degree angle, we can see that the side length that we're after is its opposite side length. So I'll just mark that with the letter O. We can also see that we're given this right angle triangle's hypotenuse, that's the 6 we have here, which I mark with an H. We now look through the three words so, ka, and toa for the only one containing the letters O and H. And in doing so, it doesn't take us long to see that the only one with O and H is so. So tells us that the sine of an angle is equal to its opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse. So for this 25 degree angle, that becomes sine of 25 equals to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now replacing O by X and H by 6, that becomes sine of 25 equals to X over 6. Looking on the right hand side of this equation, we can see that the X, which is the side length we're after, is being divided by 6. So to get rid of this 6, we need to multiply the right hand side by 6. But just as for any equation, anything we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So I need to multiply this sine of 25 by 6 as well. This equation therefore becomes 6 times sine of 25, which equals to x divided by 6 times 6. Now, since division by 6 and multiplication by 6 cancel each other out, we're left with x. And I can rewrite this equation from right to left so that we read x equals to 6 times sine of 25. And at this stage, we've gone as far as we possibly could without a calculator. All we have to do now is use our calculators to evaluate 6 times sine of 25. And in doing so and rounding to two decimal places, we find that x is equal to 2.54. And that's the answer. Now that's the first scenario we had seen. Notice that the unknown side length x ended up on the numerator on the right hand side of this equation. So now let's use this second example to remind ourselves of how to deal with the scenario in which the unknown side length x ends up on the denominator. Again, our starting point is to summarize the information we're given relative to the interior angle, which in this case is 40 degrees. Looking at this triangle, and in particular the interior angle 40, we can see that we're given its adjacent side length, that's the 5 we have here, and I mark that with an A, and we're looking for this right angle triangle's hypotenuse, that's the X we have there, and I'll mark that with an H. Now that we've summarized the information, we look through so, ka, and toa for the only one of those three words containing the letters a and h. And in doing so, it doesn't take us long to see that that's ka. Now, ka, remember, tells us that the cosine of an angle is equal to its adjacent side length divided by the hypotenuse. So for this 40 degree angle, that becomes cosine of 40 is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now replacing a by 5 and h by x, this becomes cosine of 40 is equal to 5 over x. Looking at the right hand side here, we can see that x is on the denominator, and we need to get it away from there. Now since x is dividing the 5 on the numerator, to get rid of this x, we need to multiply the right hand side by x. But just as for any equation, whatever I do on one side of the equation, I have to do on the other. So we multiply cosine of 40 by x as well. And that leads us to x times cosine of 40 is equal to 5 divided by x times x. Since division by x and multiplication by x cancel each other out, we're left with 5 on the right hand side. Now on the left hand side, we can see that x is being multiplied by cosine of 40. So to get rid of this cosine of 40, we need to divide the left hand side by cosine of 40. But as always, whatever we do on one side of the equation, we must do on the other. 
So we divide 5 by cosine of 40 as well. And that leads to the following. We have x times cosine of 40 divided by cosine of 40. So the cosine of 40 is cancel each other out, and we're left with x. And that's x equals to 5 divided by cosine of 40, which we write 5 over cosine of 40. And at this stage, we have an expression for x, and all we need to do now is use our calculators to evaluate 5 divided by cosine of 40. And in doing so and rounding to two decimal places, we find that x is equal to 6.53. And that's the final answer. And so those are the two scenarios that we want to make sure we know how to deal with when looking for unknown side lengths in right angle triangles. And that's it for this tutorial.